Hello, hello everyone. So I'm doing just a really brief plan with me. We're gonna keep it simple, quick and dirty. Um, I've had some sort of realizations this week and a lot of it is just dictated by what is currently going on in my business and my personal life and how is the best way to keep my brain updated. So um, I did just film a really quick video and I'll be posting sort of like a voiceover of, I did decide for this B6 paper test that I am gonna keep it sort of updated on a weekly basis and essentially over the weekend when I do my weekly planning, just make a really pretty spread of an overview of my week because I'm really craving just having one book that I finished. And what I actually will probably end up doing too is any of the blank spreads. Like some of these have been redated and used, but like, let's say there's like a blank spread at the beginning of the month. Uh, I filled this one in. I kind of tested this one out. I actually think I'm filling in most of these. And I started this in the end of February. Like this one already has notes on it. I may go in and just fill like in my events from this week. You know what I mean? Um, for any of the blank weeks again. And now we're in February. And uh, I may like come and backfill my events from February. Right. And just put some pretty stickers and do just like a quick cute two page layout. I don't mind when at the end of a week I have some blank pages because that happens quite frequently. That's part of why I love this. But I, I know that at some point I'm gonna wanna come back into this planner um, and I don't want it to be empty. I really want this to be sort of my 2023 archive notebook. And that is what I've decided. I'm gonna do it this, especially because it does say chapter 23 the yearly notebook, this is gonna be my annual archive. So I did do like a voiceover quick back plan of this week um, for that. But what I, ooh, I just hit my microphone. But what I am gonna be doing um, today is I figured out that I really like this notebook here for like brain dumps, quick things, just a quick and dirty overview of like the week. Like this was the, the first week that I used it was here. And this was really great and it was so small and so compact, so easy to keep out and very nice to just keep a running task list. Um, and I, it's Saturday, so I'm not quite finished with this week. And then like I did like a May 2023 focus log. Like I was like, what have I been working on? And so I just set up a quick monthly and the main items from each day, I'm just kind of like, what was the thing I focused on this week? Just because this month is really a very big push month for me to get ahead on a lot of things um, as I'm onboarding team members. So that way I'm doing what I need to do to make sure they have the resources they need and that I'm not constantly behind on things. I just got behind this last quarter. Um, and this is so small and so compact, so I am gonna keep this. But then I also introduced this, and I did actually a little brief introduction of this on my last notebook. This is the A5 version of this B6, of, of the Oracell Complete Weekly. So this is what it looked like originally. It was really this original color where it said Complete Weekly Vertical. And it's just an undated month monthlies. So it just has some undated monthlies. And then it has an undated weeks. And in between each week is a blank two pages. Similar to the months is a month and then a blank two pages. But I hate pink. I hate this color pink. And this is a temporary cover for this notebook. I got this notebook cover for A5 on Etsy, and I just am not the biggest fan of the color, but I'm using it until my other notebook cover arrives. My other notebook cover is a similar setup where I've got my, I like this because I actually keep um, some extra pens on here. I took them off and I'm gonna grab them. Hold on. So I like this style pen loop because it lets me slide and clip like two pens if I need to. And so um, I my other pen cover, my other case that's on the way, I did get a shot from Etsy, has these two pen loops, but it also is gonna have an elastic closure. So it's gonna secure everything just a little better than what this is secured. And now I took some sticker paper and some washi tape and I just made like a new overlay for this pink cover. Um, and I'm hoping that my other cover, I will be able to slide a Midori clear cover over this um to just protect it a little bit more because this washi tape is already kind of starting to like come up on the side or i can just retape the washi on the side to cover the pink but i love this much better and the other cover i have is going to be like a cognac brown actually it won't also have as many um, pockets here but i honestly only filled up these pockets 
because if it's blank, it's going to drive me nuts. So I just inserted like some sticky notes in the mix. I got a little bit of washi, a cute, some cute little pieces of stationery sort of here, some colored page flags, which sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. I just love having them because when I don't have them, I need them. <laughs> and when I have them, I want them. So I always keep some page flags. So this will be sort of the setup, but what I'm using this for, oh, and then I got some cute Coffee Monsters Co. These are little um, late night coffee chai tea icons because my goal for this planner is to keep it pretty minimal on the deco because it's very much going to be a functional overview. And so, for example, this is the May setup. I sort of back planned May because, again, what I needed to see was like, what are the projects that I'm working on and how, to, how long does it take me to do them? And so I'm doing sort of my main overview planning in the black Sarasa dry in 0.4. I love this pen onto my river paper because it dries super fast. And the pens, like you can get a pack of like six or seven pens for like 10 bucks. And I love the how dark and rich the ink is. And so on the side here, I have like a weekly focus, right? So this week, my focus was design SOPs, set up automations, set up ClickUp, do an efficiency audit. This week I had in-person event marketing, May get caught up on May marketing content. And again, I'm still getting, I'm still, it's, it's today is May 15th. And I am still, no, today's not May 15th, today's May 20th. And I'm still working on finishing up my May into June content. And so over the next two weeks, the goal is to this weekend to finish up May and then next week finish June's content. Um, and then I will be caught up for all of my marketing over the next week or two. And then at the end of the month, I've got, you know, my client calendar updates, my newsletters, call calendars, things like that. Um, and so just notes that I have so I can see how I'm planning out the month. Um, and so this yellow is kind of what I'm actively working on underneath the black stuff, right? So in the top here, I did just put some notes in the yellow, which again, this is for me. So it's like, okay, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. But for here, finalize and record my content. So I have podcast editing and uploading, podcast YouTube assets, which I started, but I'm still working on. Again, today is the 20th. I'm still working on this. I did finish my May emails yesterday, so I just kind of extend this. And I'm still editing video for reels for my May content through today. This will likely go extend through tomorrow. And then when it's done, I can kind of like put a put the little line delineating, okay, I finished this this day. And when I'm done, I kind of check it off. And then I can go through and reflect big picture, what are the things? This is not like the daily task. So my coaching work is very sort of, um, I heard Lindsay Scribbles use this phrase, very inbox heavy on like a video of hers that I was watching. For example, all of these little daily tasks that come up are things that come into my inbox that come up as the week is going on. And they're not like project-based things, they're like, last minute, somebody needs this, this person needs a programming update, this person needs this resource, this is something I need to research, I need to respond to this email, that all goes here, right? This is sort of the running to-do list and then I just keep like a daily log overview because otherwise I forget what I do on a daily basis and it's freaking annoying. Um, and so this is sort of the inbox, right, where this is very big picture and I would not be able to set this up in a B6 planner I think the same way as I would in the A5 because like, for example, this is my B6 planner and my paper test designs and the, and it's just small, right? It's just small in comparison to this. So I think that this A5 is really going to end up being functional for me. And so this week, what I did was I also played with this weekly setup where I just sort of put Again, I'm just messing with this. I didn't really use this this week, but I just wanted to kind of mess with it a little bit so I can start to get ideas of what I needed because I'm using this so heavily for my inbox this week for work. Although I think I'm gonna switch this up this week and make this more of a sort of personal focus, big picture, where this is gonna be very specifically like, I'm bringing this out for work only. Um, and the weekly I'm anticipating probably doing something like where I did, I put the priorities for this week, right? So my focus, what is the focus for this week? And it's going to go sort of up here. I'm going to maybe keep a little tracker of like the hours that I worked, although I'll probably make this smaller over the week because I just like to see that visual representation. And then I had like just a running to-do list here. And this was just a this week running to do this non-date specific. And then what I might do on the actual days is like my date specific tasks. So rather than, because a barrier this week for me was the fact that 
I, I put a task here, but I didn't really do it until here and I didn't want to have to keep migrating. I realized this week, I just wanted to see a weekly overview of my tasks, of my inbox tasks, not my like big project tasks, but what are my inbox tasks? So I will likely keep, um, for example, I would, and I'm actually gonna maybe set this up right now because I have a little bit of time to do this. So here's this week. Ta-da! And I'm actually going to, I don't like how I did this in the gray. So let's just get this baby set up because I think this is going to be my big project overview here. And I'll keep that priority up in the corner here. A non-specific to do like things I need to focus on this week. Make what are my events that are coming up through the day up, up here at the top. And then what I'll do is I'll reference sort of this flip and this flip. And this is what's amazing about this planner is it's literally just the month and then the week. And then the notes pages are nice because like for example here in the notes pages, I was able to write do this and then I made a note move to ClickUp. And then I took some notes during a meeting and then I was like added to ClickUp because I had some follow-up stuff that I need to come back to on this. And I moved it to ClickUp and it was great. Um, so I'm very much a hybrid planner task manager. I use ClickUp, Google Calendar, and Slack for communication and stuff like that. And then I have to, I just, I have to have a pen, pen to paper. And this is my June overview. So I already am planning out my June overview. So my focus, you can tell this is much clearer. May was very much a test, test setup. And then as I was setting up May, I was like, okay, I get a better idea now of how I can set up June. And so for example, June, this week, this is my focus. This is some other major priorities this month that I need to plan for. This is the focus for this week. This is the focus for this week. This is the focus for this week. And this is the focus for this week. So I can be very intentional, intentional, intentional about filling this in and planning and seeing where everything is coming from. And I did my, I just wrote in my dates. I'm really probably going to use just these three colors because again, this is going to be very minimal. Um, to be completely honest, this tape only came into play because I wrote a bunch of stuff, whited it out. It looked disgusting. And so I just put some black and silver tape, which I actually like this tape is a vibe for this setup, I feel like. So I may bring this. This is an Arch Michael tape from Etsy. I absolutely love that shop. Okay. And then I'm my Instagram marketing. I needed this morning as I was working to visualize where am I with my marketing for Instagram. And again, I just needed the space to write this down. And that's perfect because this is so much space for me to just brain dump on stuff for like what is for this week. So as I'm finishing up this weekend, all of this stuff, I can kind of visually check it off because I have multiple databases um, from a, uh, I also use Airtable. So I have Google Sheets and Airtable that are sort of double use. The Google Sheets is for me and then the Airtable is for my assistant. I have to make sure that all my stuff gets migrated from the Google Sheets, all of the assets and stuff get uploaded, uploaded to Airtable. Um, and then since I'm behind, I will make sure I schedule at least through this week and then all of the rest of the assets for the remainder of the month, she I, she will schedule and so I won't have to check those off. But I needed, I needed an overview. I just have to write stuff down, you guys, because otherwise if I don't, my brain doesn't work. So let's do a really brief setup of this while I have just a little bit of time before my next student arrives. I have some makeup music lessons today because um, of Zach being sick last week. And I'm going to zoom this in the tiniest bit and hopefully you can see everything. So this week, so we're going to go Monday. Monday is going to be Monday May 22nd, Monday, 22, Tuesday, 23. And I actually like my kind of loopy cursive handwriting. Oh, love this pen on this paper, 24. Three, five. And it doesn't smudge. It's a Sarasa dry, so it literally dries very, very quickly. It smudges a little tiny bit there, but like when you just need like a good, like good black pen that dries quickly onto my river paper, that's not going to be super precious with how you have to handle it. Sarasa dries are, are the ticket for that. Okay. So this week we're going to make this sort of priorities over here and I'm going to grab 
I had a pencil board floating around somewhere, but I'm just gonna use this skinny one because I like this as a straight edge. I'm just going to, up here, use this for, you know what, how much room did I need to give myself for events last time? I need a little bit more room for events. So let's go ahead. You know what? We're gonna deco, friends, because why the heck not? Because I don't know what to do with this blank space. All right. I want clean lines for this. Ta-da. I want clean lines. And I'm only going to deco this tape through Monday because I'm going to use that sidebar space. Ta-da! All right. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I did run out of time before my music lesson started today. And so, and then some other things came up. So I am recording this a little bit later, but that's totally okay. Totally okay. Life has been crazy this week, but there's still so many good things happening. So I'm just going to be grateful for the fact that I have the capacity to manage the chaos. And sometimes that's all we can do. Okay. So when I left off, I was setting this up for my priorities and kind of non-specific tasks that don't have to happen like necessarily, I don't know, on a certain day or just other reminders and notes. I put this little cute tape here because while I want this to be kind of a very functional, minimal planner, the weeks have kind of this open space at the top that I don't know what to do with. And it's kind of the perfect size for some washi tape. Um, it takes up that blank space and then one more like grid row. And I didn't put it over here because I don't think I honestly need it over on that side. And I really just want this to highlight the week itself. So the next thing I'm going to do is set up a little space for events. Now this week I did need about four to five. I, I, I needed like four max for rows. Um, and this is like work specific stuff that has happening. This is not my entire calendar. This is just work stuff, including when I have music lessons, because that is one of the businesses that I run is I have a music studio and the days that I have my music studio, I will usually have less events typically during the day because those lessons take up, you know, anywhere from, uh, we're talking like, uh, you know, four to five hours a day, just depending on the week, depending on the day this week, it, it's been the end of the school year. So there's been a lot of conflicts. So there's some days where I might have two lessons and some days where I maybe have like all three or four or five. And then again, <coughs> excuse me, in between each has like a blank, just brain dump section. Like this is just beautiful open grid paper. And the A5 is so big that I really don't feel limited. I can probably put here whatever I need to put here, like um, just meeting notes or other reminders. And then I can either transfer it to wherever I need it digitally or not. So space for the rest of it. Oh, here's my, I was looking for that. I was looking for my little, um, this is a pencil board, a week's sized pencil board from Lauren Phelps designs. And you can tell it's definitely been well loved because a lot of the hollow has sort of, uh, come off of it, but I'm going to give myself about like one, two, three, four, five, six grid spaces for events, just because that's what feels, that's what feels right. There's no, there's no real rhyme or reason or scientific purpose behind that. And I'm going to do it this way and avoid hitting my space bar on my computer at all costs because I did that in a video and it affects my recording um, for audio. And then I have to go back and splice everything. Okay, so here's my events. Now, I don't wanna keep like a timeline of the day in this planner, even though this is technically a vertical weekly and you can, because what I do, in my personal notebook, I usually keep a timeline of my day as things happen. So it's not a pre-planning. It's sort of like, here's today. I woke up and I worked for a little while and then I've had music lessons and then there's some other stuff that's gone on. And so I always go through as the day goes and I will sort of log things 
And it's more for memory keeping and a reference for when I'm doing my journal, my daily journaling. Cause like sometimes I'll maybe go a day or two without journaling and then I'm open the page for Tuesday and maybe it's Thursday. And I'm like, what did I do on Tuesday? I have no idea. And so I kind of go back and it helps kind of, oh yeah, that's what today was like. I remember feeling this or doing this or X, Y, Z. And so I keep, this is still going to come with me because this is my tiny little A6 like, look how small and cute this is. Oh my gosh. Love this from Planner Monkey Co. Just a blank dot grid. Um, I'm feeling the Bujo life this, this lately. I just need the chaos of a Bujo, something that I don't have to be super precious with, um, you know, or really worry about it. Like sometimes I feel like I need to in my, um, my paper test yearly notebook. That one's so beautiful and so pretty that sometimes I get frustrated when it doesn't look the way I want it to look. And so I just, I just, I like that one. That's probably going to be my annual log. I will still keep it updated, but I just like that. This is very like, look at this. This is very not precious with, I just like, this is a hot mess express and it's fine. It's fine. Literally. I said shit to send to Nicole, which Nicole is my assistant. She's also my wonderful friend. She's very brilliant. I love working with her because she's just so quick on everything. And she's just such a great professional. She's just very on top of her shit and she communicates really well. And so I love working with her and I literally wrote shit to send to Nicole, like in this notebook, like that's how not precious I want to be with it. Um, okay. So I have time for events. So I will put in my events um, shortly, but then what I wanna do is I wanna keep space for like a to-do list down below. And I also wanna keep track for an hours. Actually, I think I'll probably keep my track of my, um, my weekly recurring work tasks. So priorities will go up here. My weekly recurring tasks for work will go down here. Uh, yes, it's coming together. The vision is happening. Okay, how do I do this and still keep it in? in the um, frame struggling with this. Cause my literally my like keyboard thing is over here. And if I hit it, it screws a bunch of stuff up. Can I move it back even more? Maybe, maybe we're struggling. It's fine. Okay. So we've got priorities. I'm going to actually leave this space for priorities. You guys, did I change my mind on the tape? I may have, I may stick another piece of tape over on that side because I am who I am as a person. We're going to do it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. And no one's going to know that I'm indecisive AF. And it's a clean, it's a clean break there. So can I just make it there without it being super obvious? Yes, I can. And we're going to. I love this pencil board for ripping clean washi because too, it just is great. Okay. So priorities, events here. And I'm going to write in the sidebar here, my recurring weekly tasks. So I think I'm going to do it this way. So we're going to take a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. And then we're going to go um, client messages, Voxer, FCA. And then I've also got, um, any sales, which is like following up on applications, reaching out to people who have inquired, things like that. Um, sales, what else is in my current weekly setup? Oh, socials. Um, and end of day report. Socials good and end of day report. Cool. So that's what that's going to look like. And actually to make this look just a little bit cleaner, I'm going to take my yellow Sarasa vintage pen and we're just going to make this. I love these Sarasa vintage pens and this yellow just makes me really happy. We're just going to do that. We're just going to make it a little bit cleaner. Cool. And then we're going to also keep a log of how many hours I work in a day. Cause I like to just see that visually. And then I think what I'm also going to do is do a step tracker because I find that that helps me 
so much with like staying on top of moving my body well. Where's my writing board? Because sometimes if I have a long work day, I forget to like get up and walk around. And while this is not a personal tracker, when I take care of my health, my productivity and stress levels and ability to serve my people is improved. So we're going to make a um, 10 plus, which that does happen, an eight, a six, four, two, and then zero will be here. And this will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right now I am working on the weekends some days, so uh, don't come for me. Just is what it is. And actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline this in black and I'll fill it in with yellow because I feel like that would be really fun. 10 plus. Oh, I just made a goof. That's okay. That's what whiteout is for. Or we're going to make it artistic. Good. You want to know what? It works. Artistic. Hey, it is what it is. And I know this will, this will allow me in this little sidebar to just track my hours. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do steps. So we're going to do a 10 plus eight, six, four, two, and then a zero and a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just so I remember that I am not too busy or too important to take care of myself. And that if I spend 20 or 30 minutes a day taking care of my body, the world will not end. My business will not fall apart. And that's actually a great way for me to lead by example too, right? I am a health and fitness coach and doing this kind of step tracking and monitoring my daily activity is part of what I ask my clients to do. And so making sure that I'm balancing that work plus personal care is, is a great way to, uh, hold on, I got to fix this. And I'm out of frame for a second. I apologize. No, I am in frame. Sweet. Is a great way for me to just lead by example, which is huge, which is huge. You got to lead by example. All right. So there's my little sidebar. And actually I want to separate, do I want to separate this away from everything else? No, I'm fine. Okay. So now what's going to happen is this is just going to be space for like a running to-do list. So for example, I know that there's certain things that I'm going to have to do on Monday. Um, and now the one thing that I do every single day, first thing is I do my inbox check-in. And that's just me looking at, um, did I have any important emails come in? Did I get any important messages in Slack or ClickUp? That's going to impact my to-do list for the day. Inbox. Check-in. And I'm leaving this. I'm going to zoom in and show you really fast. You will see. Oh, that's the wrong way. I leave that this little box next to it blank because for me, I don't like to have to constantly write the dots. I just will put one slash if it's an in progress and an X if it's complete. And so that's how I delineate that. I'm going to just anticipate. And then if I cancel something, I just cross through it. So like, let's say I don't end up working on Sunday next week. I will just cross out this inbox check-in. And actually, I kind of like the idea of highlighting this for funsies. I may regret this, but because this is a recurring situation, first thing in the morning, I may not regret this. Inbox check-in. Inbox check-in. Yeah. Okay. JK. I'm not regretting this. I'm going to like this because I do this every day before I start my tasks because I just want to make sure that I'm prioritizing things properly. Good. Inbox check-in, inbox check-in, and inbox check-in. And then if I cancel it, I will just cross it out Bujo style. That's like a bullet journaling signifier strategy. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my priorities. So my priorities are going to be this thing over here in the monthly section. So in the monthly section, 
I have my weekly focus. Like what is my focus for this week? And so I'm going to go ahead and put this here. So I need to get my June content assets and finalize my quarter two freebie because it's the, almost the end of quarter two. So I'm going to actually be cute about this and we're going to make this my priority this week. So, and then once I get those, so June assets, this is going to be podcast, IG, and email, and quarter two freebie. And that has a whole other separate list. So there's my priorities for the week. And as I work through those, I can check those off. And let me go ahead and just write in my events for next week since we're here. <sighs> Okay, work, this is a work specific appointments that I wanna see. So I'm not gonna put everything in here because I will do my task, my actual task overviews in my regular bullet journal. Um, this is just work. So I have a call at noon. And then I've got an office hour and then I've got a um, functional nutrition course that I'm starting another one I know don't 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 come for me cool then Tuesday appointment wise and Tuesday is just a client check-in day so I'm just gonna write And this is my functional case study day. So I just want to write those in because those are kind of big ticket items. I just want to be aware from a work perspective. I've got a 3.30 Jessie one-on-one, which is one of my clients. She's about to go hike, um, go on like a big ass hike soon. And a no, she's at 3 p.m. and Brianna's it. This is why we have white out. This is why it exists for things like this. The other reason I like these Sarasa dry pens is because um, you can write over them and white out and it doesn't mess up with like the ballpoint of the pen. And there is a Brie one on one. And um, Wednesday is, I have lessons. I'm going to put this down here in case something comes up in the morning. Lessons from 3 to 8 p.m. Okay. Thursday is a little goofy, but that's fine. So we're going to do a 1 p.m. with Taylor and I only have two lessons on Thursday. And again, I'm gonna leave this open, similar to how I do in my personal planner. And then Friday, I've got a lesson at 10 a.m. I have one adult student that I see like every couple weeks. She comes for an hour on Friday mornings and it's very chill. And then Saturday, I've got lessons makeup lessons and then that's all for like actual appointments for the week and then the rest of this will be um tasks that I need to get done so for example one task that I know for sure that is going to end up on Monday that I already need to move off of this week is I need to follow up with one of my clients on as her getting her some lab work and I need her to send me some things. Um, but it's Saturday and I thought she sent it to me yesterday. And then I realized she sent me the wrong file. I already had that file and I need a different file for her labs. <laughs> and so I'm going to, I need to put, um, Shelby labs follow up and that's going to be a Monday task. That's going to be a Monday task. Yep. 
That's it. And I don't know if I'm going to make a little bit more space down here for like, for example, um, like for June content, you can see here, like some of this stuff takes me maybe a day or two to get through. So what I might do is I might transfer some of this over into the week. So I can say content or sorry, marketing work. And then I can sort of reference the month for what needs to be done this week. And then I can say, okay, this is what I'm doing this day. And this is how long it took me. Cause that's a helpful for me to see. Um, again, this is not like a science-based strategy in any way, shape or form. It's literally just what makes sense to my brain right now. And sometimes the redundancy of like seeing it over here, like I put on June on Monday, I will finish my entire June Instagram scheduling. Like what is the plan? And then get all of the captions written, which I can do. Um, but in case something else comes up, let's say again, my work is very inbox heavy where I can get a lot of random tasks put on my plate over the course of a day. And when I'm working with clients, sometimes like those are things that like, okay, I need to do this today at the latest tomorrow and turn this around for this person. Right. And that that's a thing. That's just, that's just part, that's just the nature of what I'm doing. Oh, this person needs this resource or I need to send this to them or I need to follow up about this. Those are things that need to happen that day or the next day, um, unless we communicate and it's like, okay, let's start putting this together and we'll make sure it's all finalized by di this date. Um, like if I have something that disrupts me finishing this and all of this ends up stretching through Friday or Saturday, that's helpful for me to see how it's getting stretched out. So this is my work prod. This is my like big project manager. And this is going to be more of like, inbox, tasky, task management. What are my appointments for work for the week? What is my priority focus, my daily tasks, and then my hours worked in daily steps. And so I'm actually going to write that in. So we're going to go hours worked and then daily steps just as a reminder that I'm not that important and I can take time away as the day kind of ebbs and flows to take care of my body because when you are constantly touting the I'm, I'm too busy, like sort of, uh, line, I always challenge people and I go, are you really that important that if you step away for 30 minutes or an hour to take care of yourself, that everything in your life will burn down? Or can you really actually step away? And most people are like, oh, wow. Oops. Check yourself. So that is my work planner setup for this week. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, again, this is an Aura Estelle complete weekly that I stickered cause I didn't like the pink cover, but the planner in and of itself is really quite beautiful and I absolutely adore it. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed this setup. This was helpful for you. If you're looking for a way to manage like just some weekly tasks for your work specific stuff or project management, and I will talk with you guys later.